the channel and a new video. I'm Abhinav and I'm not here with a travel vlog or a daily life video today. I'm here to tell you more about my application journey to US universities. The only reason I'm making this video is that I've been receiving several messages on Instagram, on LinkedIn, sometimes in the YouTube comment section. So I thought I'll do this series as an experiment to just share some information and my perspective. But please consider this video to be an appetizer. You need to order the main course. So please let me know in the comment section below what other topics you would like to discuss in this series. Moreover, I'm planning to do some live sessions by inviting a few of my friends who have studied in different universities, different branches, who can also talk to you about their perspectives. So let's get started with today's video. Which universities did I apply to? Now, if you are connected with me on LinkedIn, you know that I pursued masters in industrial engineering from Pennsylvania State University. But this was not the only university that I applied to. Just like everyone else planning for education in the US, I was also deciding between multiple universities that were classified as ambitious, moderate, and safe. In my case, out of the seven universities, I could get into only two. And I'll talk about that in this video. I got a 310 on GRE and a 98 on TOEFL. In addition to these scores, which I felt like are low for the universities that I was going for, I had really good undergraduate scores that helped me boost my statement of purpose. Exactly how you apply for jobs when you graduate, companies are looking for what can you bring to the company, universities are looking for what can you bring to the university. So everything comes down to your statement of purpose. But at the same time, they do look at your scores because that sort of tells a story about what you did in your undergrad as well. That's definitely a good piece of information that helps them make a decision. What was my general process of even coming up with this list of universities? Now there's no magical formula to tell you which university is going to work the best for you. But there is definitely a sweet spot where high affordability meets high quality education. And that was my approach when I started applying. Now think about this, a lot of us who are planning for higher education are also planning to get a loan from the bank. You need to really make sure that all the money that you're going to spend for your education is well worth it because you are looking at around 30 to 40,000 US dollars. If you go somewhere else, the education expenses are quite similar outside of your living expenses, food and all the other activities that you may indulge in. Whatever money you're going to spend, you need to make sure that you are able to recover it after you graduate. Now let's get started with the university list that I applied to. The very first university that I applied to was Georgia Institute of Technology or Georgia Tech. It's based out of Atlanta, Georgia. The reason I applied to this university was very simple. It was and still is the number one university for industrial engineering in the US. They have a fantastic industrial engineering program and it is very highly regarded. At the same time, I came across a senior from my undergraduate college who had recently graduated from Georgia Tech's industrial program and got a really good job. So that sort of served as a motivation for me to try applying to Georgia Tech and get through. Unfortunately, I was rejected by Georgia Tech. The second university that I applied to was University of Florida. After reading a lot about this university, I came to know that the industrial engineering department in general offers a $4,500 scholarship to all the students. While this was not the only motivation, this university was in the top 20 for industrial engineering, which is why I went ahead and applied to this. Unfortunately, UFL also rejected me. Third university, which is a really good one, was State University of New York and Buffalo. Now, some people call it Sunny Buffalo, some people call it Sunny Buffalo. I do not really know what the correct pronunciation is. But the Industrial Engineering Department at UB has completed 75 years, so it's pretty old and a very nice program. Also, I know a lot of my friends who graduated from this university and secured jobs at companies like Tesla. This university also ranks in the top 25 across the country. Unfortunately, Sunny Buffalo also decided to reject me. Let's come to the fourth university. The fourth one that I applied to was Texas A&M or TAMU. The fourth university that I applied to was Texas A&M or TAMU. This is based in College Station, Texas. This is a really highly regarded program in the country. 
and it is ranked in the top 10 to 15 schools for industrial engineering. The main reason to apply for TAMU was its low cost, not only for the tuition fee, but also for living because Texas is a very cheap state to live in. This was the university that was fitting in the criteria of high affordability and high quality of education really well. But unfortunately, they also rejected my application. The fifth university that I applied to was not for industrial engineering. It was actually for a program called Integrated Manufacturing Systems Engineering. I did not really look into a lot of detail about this program, but I knew someone from my undergraduate college who graduated out of this program and they talked really highly about this program. So I thought that I'll give it a try because the course, the curriculum match very well with industrial engineering courses. Unfortunately, they also decided to reject my application. So we have so far talked about five universities and all rejects. Let's talk about the sixth university. This is Clemson University based in South Carolina. Clemson was my safest option. I was hoping that if all the other universities reject me, I definitely get an admit from Clemson. And that happened. The very first admit that I got in Feb 2014 was Clemson University. The reason to apply for this university was that it was highly ranked. But at the same time, the profile of the students that were admitted to Clemson from previous batches matched very well with my profile. I kind of knew that this is a sure shot admit. Let me get at least one admit if all the other six universities decide to reject me. Which sort of was the case because I was getting rejected pretty much by all the universities. A little disappointed, but at the same time I was happy that I'm, because I was already placed through campus placements in my undergraduate college. So let's talk about the best one. I saved it for the last. Obviously not the dream university that I wanted to go to. It's Pennsylvania State University, which is where I finally went for my master's. This is world's first industrial engineering program, which was established in 1908. I did not quite expect to get an admit from Penn State, but 13th March 2014, I got an email that said congratulations. And at first I thought this is probably congratulations for my application getting submitted. But when I opened the PDF, it was congratulations, you have been admitted to Penn State's industrial engineering program. On one hand, I had my company offer. On the other, I had Clemson, but Penn State's admit changed it all. So I finally chose to go with Pennsylvania State University, even though the tuition fee was higher than Clemson. But as I said, I was really looking for that sweet spot of affordability and high quality education. Pennsylvania State University was really highly regarded. It was seventh in the nation at that point. Today it's eighth. For some reason, I had an amazing time and we will talk more on those things in the episodes to come. But do let me know in the comment section below if you like this experiment and if we should continue making more such videos that are more informative. So please leave your thoughts in the comment section below and help us improve the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.